Hi everyone, welcome to Kimber Creations. It's me, Kim, and here really quick to give you an idea, um, really, really inexpensive idea. It cost about 25 cents um, a piece to, to make these, roughly around there. Um, or if you're like me, I had 90% of it in my stash of things already, so um, it was even less than that for me. But um, I was trying to come up with an idea. I wanted to do something different with my Cricut cartridges. Uh, you know, they've always been stored in the original boxes and stuff, and, you know, it takes up space. Not that it, you know, I only have maybe 30, 31 or so, at the most, 32. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, less than 40. How's that? Uh, cartridges anyway. And so it, I mean, it really didn't take up a whole lot of space, but the way I have it, I've cut it, the space probably in half or more, um, and really have enjoyed it. And so I thought, why not share the idea? And so all you're going to need is some Velcro and some top the top loading um, memory book refills. They look like this. You get 10 in a pack and um, at my local store they're like $1.49, $1.50 at the most, um, something like that. And then the Velcro that I got, um, and I, like I said, I already had some of this on hand, but you get this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar and you get 20 pairs in there. So depending on how many cartridges you have um, you know that just depends on how much money you're gonna spend either way it is very very inexpensive very easy to do all I did was um, cut this off this little you know I didn't need the end piece and you know kept it so it made a little pouch and um, then from the top you know the opening I measured about one and a half inches or so made a crease down there you can just hopefully see that a little bit sorry for the glare and um, crease that over and then just you know opened it up cut just the one side um, you know cut along the crease line and then cut that down there so that it made made a flap and then put your velcro on put your book in put your cartridge in the back and there you go and um, I happen for how I was storing it I was looking for um, baskets I even purchased a couple different things at the Dollar Tree thinking they were going to be stored in there and got them home and it just didn't work for what I was looking for I'm using the baskets for something else so it was no big deal but I happen to have these two um, jewelry trays that um, my brother had given me before he moved out of his home and um, so they worked out perfectly I put them <coughs> excuse me I put them on my um, countertop next to my Cricut and it it's great you know I just kind of turn the trays around and thumb through what I'm looking for I do have them somewhat categorized I didn't feel since I'm the only one that basically uses the Cricut um, you know I didn't feel like I needed to like um, label you know put dividers or whatever in there you know it's easy enough to thumb through I kind of have all my animal stuff together you know baby stuff or family oriented stuff together kitchen you know cooking that kind of thing alphabet you know all that kind of stuff the only one I did not repackage was the little um, box my Sesame Street one which is a newer purchase um, and I got this for uh, for Haley because she loves Elmo loves Sesame Street and um, I didn't have any, you know, like this, and so I bought that for her and for, you know, some fun things coming up, you know, like her birthday in January and things like that. So anyway, that was just a little quick run through 
Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it gave you an idea of, of um, how to store your cartridges if you're trying to save on space. So anyway, um, I'm going to go for now and hopefully get some more filming done throughout the weekend. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.